Hello guys, welcome to another video, and today we are going to be reacting to My Strange Addiction. Now, I, um, I seen, uh, I guess a video before, uh, from Mess Yourself, obviously, and he was reacting to My Strange Addiction. Now, something was loading when I was, uh, obviously, like, playing my game, but then I exited out and I went back in. And I was thinking of making a video, and uh, I guess that popped into my head, so I decided to make a video on it. So we are going to be reacting to My Strange Addiction, and uh, I decided to, I clicked on this video, and I guess seen like two seconds of it, and decided, hey, how about I react to it? So uh, let's um, react to some My Strange Addiction, I mean Addiction. My name's Adele, I'm 30 years old. I'm Hello Adele. Florida, and my addiction is eating couch cushions eating couch cushions i think i seen this girl or another girl that was like how my earliest memory of eating cushion i was about 10 years old and my cousin we were in his room and he's like try this on a daily basis um i probably eat about eight why and a half by 11 piece of cushions my name is Keisha. what I'm wait 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 what that's crazy! Did you just hear her? Like, try this. On a daily basis, um, I probably eat about eight and a half by eleven piece of cushions. Eight and a half by eleven. You mean a whole piece? A whole piece like that? Is that what you're saying? A whole piece of couch cushion that you eat? Eleven of those? Is that what you? Oh my. This woman is weird and crazy and nasty. My name is Keisha. I'm 34 years old and I love eating toilet paper. Oh, ew. Why? A bulky roll. I mean, at least it's clean, but I probably take down half the roll. Why are you eating toilet paper? With me in my purse. What? What? That's not good for you. I don't think that's good for you. A good place where people really don't. I th I think she'd have a lot of trouble digesting this, or something would be wrong with her digestive system. Something some something will be movie theater everywhere she goes. Congratulations, woman. The woman. Yeah, exactly. And Keisha have her tissue on the side of her. She's eating it right now. All right, she's standing at the door eating the tissue. Why? <laughs> what? My name is Teresa. I'm oh, it's in Pennsylvania. Years old. That's right. I'm Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And I'm addicted to smelling gasoline. What? Okay, okay, people. Now, we all had that time where we love the smell of gasoline. But this woman's got a strange problem, because if she's addicted to smelling gasoline, then uh, that's just... I mean, this is why it's called My Strange Addiction. It's weird. I mean, we all... I wake up in the morning, uh, the first thing I do is I roll over, sit up, and smell my gas bottle. Why? And I'll get up, take another sniff of the gasoline, and then I'll come downstairs. You know what? At least she's not drinking it. But there was this woman who did drink gasoline. And it can cause all kind of pro, uh, all, all kinds of problems if you drink gasoline. It could cause, I guess, problems with your heart, slurred speech. It could be, uh, yeah. But smelling, smelling gasoline for over thirty years. Oh, thirty years? Every ten minutes, and even wakes up in the middle of the night. Every ten minutes. I don't even know how to explain how it smells. I just love what? the smell of it. How it makes my nose feel inside the back of my throat. Ugh, the gas, gas, oh yeah, that gasoline, Do you, like, I don't really know a lot of what's in gasoline, but stuff is in there that maybe it's not that good for you to smell it all the time. No matter where I'm at, I have a bottle with me. I keep it either in my purse or in my jacket pocket. When I eat, it's sitting right there at the kitchen table in case I get that urge. Um... Wait a minute. My 
Yeah, he's not throwing it in your face or anything. Now you're the one. Now look at you. Look at you right there. You're the one who has to be blamed. You're the one who has... A, don't worry, I'm not pointing at you guys. <laughs> this girl right here, guys. Don't be like her. She's the one who has the problem with sniffing gasoline. I mean, I know at some point we all like the smell of something, but she just really has a problem with it. And I don't know. Like, he's not rubbing it in your face or anything. Teresa doesn't work and is supported by her boyfriend. She spends almost $400 a month on her addiction. Me and Frank fight over it. You know, take the last couple dollars we have just to go get the gasoline can filled because I have to have my gasoline to snap. You take the last couple of dollars for that? Your poor, bo your poor boyfriend must be upset because of that. Because you have to get the money to do gasoline. To pay for gasoline. Oh, sorry, sorry. Pay for gasoline to sniff it. Like, I, I, I know why you would pay gasoline. Maybe for your car, to run your car. And because your, your, um, your gas tank is almost on E. But no, it's to sniff it. Be, like, why? Why do you need more? Fresh gas? Teresa's daughter. She has a daughter. This girl has a problem and she has a daughter. This poor daughter. Yeah. Stop eating toilet paper. That's not good for you. Yeah, exactly. It's tissue. You imagine how much that could affect your digestive system, or that could clog something that's in your body. My name's Lori. I'm 31 years old. I live in Austin, Texas. Okay. I am a mother to a beautiful little three-year-old named oh, Andrea. Oh, good. Good. I'm gonna make your hair so pretty today. Not good because she has a strange I'm addiction. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Now this isn't even a problem. This is just a strange thing. Usually, you would sleep with something that has sound and is bright, like a TV and everything, but not like that much noise. What? 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 Typically. My nightly routine would just be to get up underneath my covers, turn on my blow dryer on low, and um, just curl up next to it, fill it on my hands. If I'm cold, I put it on my feet. And but it's loud. And then into the sound of it. I was eight okay. years old when the well. first time I remember sleeping with the blow dryer. Um, I used to share a bed with my old. Well, I understand why that would feel good, but that's why you have a heater, woman. That's why... You can buy heaters and put them in your room, and you could warm up your hands, your toes, and feel all nice and toasty without having to sleep next to a blow dryer. Like, I, I don't really understand this woman. Like, how do you sleep with that much noise? And how does and your three-year-old daughter sleep with that much noise? The blow dryer. And the sound of it, the warmth of it, just instantly put me to sleep. And from that night forward, I was hooked. Why would that? My name is what? Josh. I'm 27. I live in Worcester, okay. Ohio. And I'm addicted to eating glass. No, no, that is 
extremely dangerous. Okay, no, no, no. Do not do that. That will cut up your lungs. That will destroy. That is extremely dangerous. Guys, do not eat glass. Don't even try. Don't even lick it. It will cut your tongue. It will cut your lungs. You will die. You could die if you ate glass. Oh, that, no. Very bad for you. Extremely dangerous. Warm feeling and tingly? You're... Do not eat glass. Reason I picked these are because they're usually a thinner glass. Very gritty right now. It's hard to describe. It sounds awful in my head, the actual chewing. Yeah. Ugh. A whole lot. Terrible. A lot of taste is more of a texture thing. It's like eating horrendously sharp uh, rock candy until you grind it down. <laughs> I'm Bianca, and I'm addicted to eating pottery. Pottery. You eat clay? Now this girl is eating clay. This guy was eating glass, and this girl is eating clay. You are probably going... You, you are probably going to be diagnosed with something if you eat clay. Because that is not good for you at all. Okay. Now, all these people have strange addictions, but I don't, I shouldn't make this video too long. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe if you would like to. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. A later.